Hey guys, it's me, Coupon Chica, and I'm here to show you how to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. So let's get into it. So if you don't already know, I have an Instagram page dedicated primarily to online deals, and it just hit 10,000 followers last month. So I thought it would be fun to hop on YouTube and share how you too can reach 10,000 followers on Instagram. And I want to clarify that this is organic growth, right? We're not going to be purchasing followers, purchasing ads. This is just tips and tricks on how to organically grow on Instagram. The first tip I have is to find your niche, right? The topic that you're going to be focusing on on your Instagram page. So for me, it's online deals, it's in-store finds, all that kind of stuff. It's very important to target that area so that way people know when they come to your page what you're about. Because if you have a whole bunch of different content, people are going to get confused and they might not want to follow you if they don't have an idea of where you're going with your content. Also, there are three different accounts you can have on Instagram, personal, business, and creator. I have a creator account. The creator and the business account are helpful in that they have insights and stats on how your page is doing, which posts were better than other posts, which posts gains you more followers. And I'll put a screenshot of my screen right here so you can see the insight page and how that'll benefit you. My next tip is to be consistent. You want to post, I would say, at least once a day. If you're not there yet, then just post three times a week. You know, see what's best for you. And it, you also have to figure out what your purpose is what do you why are you trying to get to 10,000 followers right and based on what you're trying to accomplish that'll determine how frequently you need to post you also want to make sure that you're using hashtags you want to use some general hashtags and you also want to use some specific to your niche so for example for me i'll put hashtag coupon community hashtag couponers hashtag deals but then I'll add some hashtags like hashtag pick, hashtag pick of the day, just to get some people that might not already be in that niche to come in to find my posts. And you want to make sure that you are engaging with your followers. So make sure to respond back quickly to their comments and feedback. Give them a smiley you know, so that way they know that you're present, you're checking your account, and you know, you're going to be around. You're not just posting stuff and leaving. That gets people to feel invested in your page and come back. You also want to engage with accounts similar to yours. Find pages in your same niche, engage with bigger pages with more followers, follow them, like their stuff, comment. You want to be noticed. And then they might share your page in the future and gain you followers, you know? And their followers will also notice you in the comments section and they'll probably go check you out. You also want to make sure that your content is unique and original. Don't steal other people's content. One suggestion I have is to maybe pick a certain font and a certain color scheme for your page. Eventually, your posts will become recognizable and people will be like, oh, that's so-and-so's page. Oh, let me give a like. Just because they know how your posts look, your colors that you use, maybe you have a logo, etc. So another good thing to do is to schedule your post. Put it down in a calendar. For example, I post apps that pay and I don't want to constantly be posting about the same apps over and over so I'll space them out. Another thing that I would recommend is creating an engagement group. So find some people in your niche that are also growing. I would say people that are within the same amount of followers and see if they want to get together and like each other's content and maybe give a comment because Instagram has an algorithm. And if they don't see people liking your stuff as much and commenting, then they won't share it as much. Also, when you're following someone, 
and they follow you back and they like a whole bunch of your posts, try to go back and return that and like a bunch of their posts. Another big tip is to make sure to put your name or your logo on your posts because you don't want someone to take your content and use it as their own. Plus, by people seeing your name or your logo on your posts, that lets them know as they're scrolling through, oh, there's a Coupon Chica post. Let me like it. Let me comment. Oh, that's a good deal. It's eye-catching. Another tip I have is to limit comments to only your followers. That way you get rid of some of the nasty comments some people leave and you have only your followers commenting. And also it's a way to promote, hey, follow me because that's the only way you're going to be able to comment, right? So of course I did a post and I let everyone know when I change my settings and I'll sh put a video here on how to change your settings um, to let them know that only followers can comment. So make sure to follow. Also, if you have a bunch of links, like if you have a website and you want to direct people, if you don't already know, I would highly recommend getting a link in bio, like Linktree or Campsite. There's a bunch of them. Let's Google link in bio and a bunch of websites should come up, but those are the two that I've used in the past. That way you can link directly to an item and have individual links that you can direct your followers to. I personally use Campsite. So when I post a sale on something like 50% off an Apple Watch band or something, my followers are able to go straight to my link in bio and find the listing and it says Apple Watch bands and it has a picture. That's what I like about Campsite because I don't think Linktree has it. They might have changed though. But they can go straight to that picture and they see Apple Watch band and they click on it and it takes them right to that link and they can shop. So those are all my tips, you guys. I hope this helped you. And if you guys have any questions at all, just drop them down below. And if anything, I'll try to do a part two to this if you have any follow-up you'd like. I could also go into affiliate marketing. That's something that I started um, last year. So I could definitely do a video about that. Just let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And just be patient, you guys. It's not going to be overnight growth. Um, I believe I really started focusing in on my Instagram page last year. I think in June I had about 1,700 followers and now I'm at 10,400 followers. So it takes time, but you can do it and you can grow faster than I did. It's all based on your creativity, your passion for the topic that your Instagram page is about and the time that you have available to put into the page, all those things factor in. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, give a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.